crazy. Then, with the coin show, with me chatting about some of our lovely categories, you know I'm a big fan of the Franklin series. When I get to talk about proofs, even more fun. If it's a new segment tonight for you, you're going to find out why I love this series. Look at these two coins. We're talking about early issue Franklins. And then it's not just the P's, the D's, and the S's. These are the Philadelphia proofs, the most limited every single year. Now, the Franklin series was introduced in 1948 and went all the way to 1963. Okay? But the U.S. Mint didn't start making proof sets until 1950. So there are no 48 and 49s. There are 14 proof Franklins, 1950 to 1963. That is the span. These earlier years were the infancy of proof sets. They were in these beautiful little boxes. They were in flips, and they were stapled together, which is why the condition is so difficult to find. But to give you an idea of just how rare these older sets are versus modern, in 1951, there was 57,500 sets made. In 1952, they were at 81,980. For reference sake, the peak of proof set sales from the U.S. Mint was 1987. They made 3.7 million proof sets that year. Even the state quarter years, they were over a million sets a year. Go back three quarters of a century, we're at 57,500 and 81,000. 980. Now that's how many proof sets they made. The biggest coin in the proof set was this beautiful Franklin half dollar. And today, if you go to NGC's website, it's free information. I recommend you always use the guides, PCNG, and then you use the red books, the guide books there as well. It gives you a full picture, not just one of the chapters. You need them both. You look on their site and in 65 or higher condition, 1951, there is only 2,736 coins known to exist. That's special. The 1952 is just as crazy. It's 4,498. Both of these, less than 5,000 known this nice. So let's relate that to modern day coinage, right? The lowest minted silver eagle ever was in 2019, and it was the S Enhanced Reverse Proof. You might remember that fall, it was crazy. It lasted less than a minute on the U.S. Mint's website, 30,000 coins. And today you can't touch it for 2,500 to $3,000. Popularity index is intense. Both of these added together are one-seventh of what they made a couple of years ago. It's not five years old, it's almost 75 years old. It's rarer and it's less money. That's the value. It's why I love the series. Now here's some other things to consider. Competition, the coin right there. If you cut it out of this and put it in a capsule, right? My competition sells it in a capsule for $4.99. That's one of the 57,500. We're selling one of the finest known, which is a certified 65. There are only 2,736 of them known to exist as of today. And we're only 599. The last time we saw this on TV from one of our competitors, the weekend guys, they were at 850 bucks. We're $250 less than they are for the same quality coin. It's special. Now that 52, it's magic as well. Look at the price, it's $300 less. Of the two, that's a crazy value. You're looking at 27.36 and only 44.98. So it's under 5,000 coins known to exist. The competition sells that coin for 279, almost the same price that we have for one of the finest known. And if you're looking for this coin certified, last time we saw it, $4.99. It was earlier this year. These are just coins you don't see. Now, you know we talk a lot about certified 67s, 
the late 50s and early 60s. We love them. The value is intense. Very rare for the minimal cost today. These older ones, anything above a 65 is a dream because you don't find them. And the numbers from NGC prove it out. So if you've been working with us on some proof Franklins, these are the best. The early years, 1950 to 1952, those three years are the crux. It's where everybody gets stuck because you can't find them because the Mint didn't make that many proof sets. And when you do find them, you gotta, it's hard to find the quality. We're always looking at gem 65 or higher if we can. And tonight we have that. Certified beauties, blast white. You can see yourself in them. The mirror is deep. These are original early issue Philadelphia proof sets like no others. Again, the U.S. Mint has been making proofs in Philadelphia since its beginning, but they never made them available to the public, you and I. You had to know somebody, or you were a visitor, a dignitary. They were meant as presentation pieces, but now they're the set for the public, the premium coin for the American public. And as referenced, by 1987, we had 3.7 million people collecting proof sets. And over the last two decades, we're still strong. The state quarters were all over a million. But if you want to get the good stuff, the early stuff, the original stuff, these are it. These are the big silver, 90% silver from those coins. Now, again, all these earlier ones, there's no mint mark because all the early proof coins were all Philadelphia. San Francisco started making proof coins in 1968. And they started putting them in that hard plastic lens. Guys, we got to put a one-minute clock up. Remember, avccoins.com is there to support, always. This is just a fun opportunity. It's a special opportunity. I love this series because there's so much value. I mean, how many coins do you know of where there's only 2,736 of them known to exist? If it was a proof silver eagle with that low number, I mean, the S enhanced reverse proof. The 2019 I was referencing, 70, which is condition quality today, right? The techniques are so much better. There is just under 10,000 of those coins known in 70, and it's a 35 to $3,800 coin. Both of these added together are less than that, and it's one-fourth the price. So again, tonight, not 499 raw, not 850 in the same holder. Save 250. Not 279 raw. Not 499 in the same holder. Saving 200. It's just a great opportunity for some really special collector coins. Give us a call.